In this video, you'll learn how to configure Timeflow in each scene. The settings for Timeflow can be accessed by selecting and viewing it in the inspector, or by clicking on the Axon Genesis logo in the upper left of the view. Most importantly at the top are the time settings for duration, frame rate, and time format. Timeflow supports multiple time display formats, including frames, seconds, time code, and measures for musical timing based on beats per minute. Each instance of Timeflow has a set duration, which can easily be changed at any time simply by entering a new value. You can also set a target frame rate and optionally enable or disable looping. Later videos cover the additional features in more detail, but for now, having a glance through the settings can give you a general idea of what's possible. Timeflow also has global project settings, which can be found in the preferences window under Timeflow, covered further in the documentation. Now that we have Timeflow set up, next we'll go over playback. 